<laughs> and there is the um, uh, Amaru's father. Hello, guys. Amaru's father. Uh -huh. I'm trying to dry maize here. Uh -huh. How they dry corn. Actually, here we call them maize. So this is what we'll will we'll prepare ugali. So guys, thank you so much again for just coming back and watching the video. And here I am with Marwa's father. You know, he's just trying to do some chores there. Uh, he's drying the maize, as you can see. And this is what usually happen in, when you are in when you are in Africa, you know, African village. And this is how they dry corn. Actually, here we call them maize. So this is what we'll will will prepare ugali after after the maize has been dry here it will be taken to the portion mill you know so that uh, you can get a uh, maize flour and then af after on this maize flour will be used to make ugali so you can see you can see how the maize flour is how the how, how the how the maize is being dried so that's how that's how how you prepare for you to get to get to ugali this is the this is the process you must prepare the you must you must prepare the maize first of all you must harvest the maize you know from the farm and then you come you after after, after harvesting them you come you dry them up and then after all you take them to to the posho mill so that you can gaze maize flour. <laughs> and there is the um, uh, Amaru's father. Hello, guys. Amaru's father. Uh -huh. I'm trying to dry maize here uh -huh. and store it. Uh -huh. And thereafter, it can be taken to the portion mill for grinding and we get unga uh -huh. for ugali in, in the local language. Okay. We really love you. We really support I mean, We really like you and we really thank you for your support uh -huh. uh, subscribe to his channel uh -huh. god bless you so thank much. you so much mm -hmm. maybe people are asking something just a question one question yes yes uh, people have really watched you in in, in the entire world yes. maybe sometimes how do you feel being a father to these two amazing uh, uh kids um, i am marwa and mm. dim wango yes Mara is my father born, uh -huh. and the Mwango follows Mara. Uh -huh. I'm really proud of them, and I really thank God for their life. Uh -huh. Thank you for their the support that you have accorded them, okay. and we really love you. Uh -huh. Without you people, uh -huh. we couldn't go the far we have gone. Okay. May God bless you so much. Thank you so much, Dad. Mm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, so guys, you can see the way it's, be, it's being dried in the sun. This is how we do it here. This is how we do it here. You see? And guys, that is the compound. Actually, you can see this tree. This is a guava tree. This is a guava tree. And there, I, I want to show you one of the guava fruit now like this one you see this one that's a guava one of the beautiful fruits here in africa kenya here in the village and guys the good thing about you know uh, food here in the village is that this these are organic food actually it's an organic food so some I, we understand some 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 of us you know we it, it's so difficult to find organic food but this is now the benefit of being in the village the benefit of coming from this side you will eat an organic food you know it will keep you strong you will be so healthy and then and then it's also it it will also help you to live longer uh -huh. and then also we have here can you see the chicken? We have here chicken. Uh -huh. Chicken. All right. You can rest in this place. This is the compound. The compound is amazing. Look the way it is. So amazing. Very, very amazing. And also, yeah, so that is the compound, guys. That is the compound. All right. That is the compound, you see. 
that's the house the place is so beautiful guys it's so it's so greeny and fresh you know and some you know that is the toilet that's the that's the washroom there that's the washroom that's the washroom okay So this is the pavement, the, the, the pavement from, from the gate leading to the house. And this is the flowers that Dimango help, you know, employed someone to trim them. It's so nicely, look the way it is. Look the way it is. And actually I'm going out. Uh -huh. and i'm out guys you know this is the gate i'm out i'm out so this is the gate guys and then this is the road this road it's actually will actually lead you to marwa's big mason hmm? the villa marwa's home this road will lead you to Marwa's home. This road. But I will be showing you. I will be showing. Okay, let, let, let's just go and show you the Marwa's uh, villa. You know, you know, Marwa has really done one of the greatest things, guys. You know, he has really, he has, he has really worked hard and he has really... Okay. So this road will lead you or will take you to Marwa to Marwa's villa, one of the one of the best, you know, home in this region, you know, in Kenya, in Africa and in East Africa. The reason why I'm I'm saying that this is one of the best home, you know, in 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 in, in, in even Africa. Guys, you need to be on on the ground you need to be here you'll just what you are seeing here it's so different guys because the, this is one of the famous village and it's really developing guys we have so many youtubers we have yes we have so many youtubers in this village and i'm telling you marwa has put a mark he has really put a mark on this region not only here but also in entire nation, in entire East Africa, he has really inspired a lot of people. He has really inspired a lot of people. And that's why we are saying that, you know, Marwa is just a different guy. The guy is just a different guy. So we are just here, we are streaming. You know, that's Mama Ann's house. That's Mama Ann's house. And we are really thank God. Abari asibui. Oh, ajafika. Uh huh. Oh. Ah, uh, ada si tu nam subiri. Ah. Okay, guys, that's Mama Aunt. Nsawa. That's Mama Aunt's house. Uh -huh. So, guys, I've really shown you that. Uh, you know, l let me take you. Let me take you to. Let me take you. You know, these are some of the bricks that they have already been made. That's the bricks. Uh huh. That's the toilet. That's the toilet. So, 
so the house is completely finished guys the house is finished and they will be moving in soon you know this is the toilet actually this toilet it's what resulted to that this is what resulted you know this one and it has two rooms that one the now this is the toilet and then this is where you can take a bath is where you can shower you see so this is what resulted to that one yeah it's what resulted to the, that one yeah this is the house that is the house you know these are the the timbers that was that, that has remained this is the timbers that's the tank that was used to uh, the water tank that's that's a water tank this is the sand you know guys this is the house this is the house this is mama Anne's house and that is their their home so they will be moving they will be moving from here to here god uh, guys you know there's a there's a famous phrase that that says that god is not from your village eh? god is not from your village what does that mean that whenever you trust and believe in god and whenever you know you have hopes and and, and positive energy and positive uh, vibe you know when you are looking into future with a lot of with a lot of belief in yourself and in god actually god will do something for you the villagers you know the neighbors even the people from other different countries they're still not getting it how comes a beautiful house like that one how comes you know i'm telling you god is a god of marvelous god is a god of marvelous guys so whatever you do keep on trusting in god whatever you you do guys keep on trusting in god so this is the pavement you see these flowers they have been trimmed well yeah and this is the house all right so guys thank you so much for watching uh let's let's see you in the next video kindly make sure you subscribe and turn off notification bell and also guys feel free to comment feel free to to share the video and also like thank you so much